right, everybody, welcome back to another match vlog. Today it's Sunderland versus Plymouth. This is a, you know, we've got to win this game, in my opinion. Three points would do us good simply because we've got a few away games coming up. We've got Ipswich away, Arsenal in the cup, then we've got Doncaster, and then we've got Fleetwood at uh, Sheffield, sorry, at home, and then Fleetwood, then Wickham. So three points would do us the world of good. We're only two points off top, fourth in the league. Like target on this video, what do you reckon? Five. <laughs> five? I think we can do better than five for that. What do you reckon? Oh, man. A hundred likes on this video if you can, because she reckons we're only going to get five. But subscribe if you haven't, and let's get on with the rest of the match vlog. So the line. Sorry. So the lineup is Hoffman, Flanagan, Doyle, Wright, Winchester, Neil, Pritchard, Diaco, Goot, Broadhead, and Ross Stewart. It's the same as the last game, with injuries bearing in mind. You can't expect anything else. Plymouth supporters, man, the mental. <laughs> Love it. A bloke of Canny Few, like. Canny Few supporters there, like. Go on, Pritchard, whip it in. Winchester, no overlap. Ah, oh, corner, well done. Corner coming in. Pritchard stands an hour ago. Get this in. Good ball, lad. Go on. Clear the short. Doyle. Oh, what if the tuna ground? Yes! Yes, Dan, shoot! Go on, lad! Off the training ground, that one. What a fucking goal. This is the goal of the afternoon. Scott by Richard. Diago. Cut it back. And ball. Nothing given. Nothing given. Oh! Oh my fucking god! Oh my god! What a bucket! Broad is a fucking beast! Did you see that? What, what a bucket! From Diaco, back in the day, got to sign a club up. Hey, fans of our mental. I uh, didn't think there was no that, like, no that. Oh, it's Stuart, lad. Go on, Gooch, Sean. He's there. Uh... Oh, he's skinning him. Gooch, lad. Put it in. Diaco. Plymouth have a chance here. Being allowed to pass it around. Good interception there. Oh, well done. Get rid of Pritchard. Oh, and the lads. Oh, outside of the foot. Oh, unlucky. Man, 
Free kick. Pritchard with his free kick. Good ball in. Here it comes. Bring it down, bring it down. Yeah. Oh, it's true, he's running at the defence. Turn the one way, turn the other. Chance to pitch hard. Good little one twos. Quick passing. Go to the ball in. Second off, just about to kick off. Oh, good defending. Well cleared, Jacko. Oh, what a shame, Hoffman! Crucial to see that by Hoffman. And uh, still got the ball. Oh, it's deflected. Shot. What a block, Doyle. Well done, lad. Put his body on the line. Oh. Another save. Two in a row. Something need to push up. This ref is given nothing. Absolute nothing. Time for Plymouth to get into this, like Six fucking hell. Oh, what a chance! Corner Sunderland. Corner Sunderland again. Here it comes. Out. Well done, Fanigan. He's brought it away. He's done one. Go on, brought it. Oh my god! What a shot, bro. Well done, Hoffman. It. How's the ref got to see this? Probably send one of us off now on him. How's the ref got? How's the ref going to see this? Yellow card. That's it. Clear your lines, lads, clear your lines. 
got the ball, Winchester. Well done, well done. Going for the long throw, I think. Headed up by Flanagan. Oh, Broadhead sliced at it. Oh, it's edgy times. Yes, Sullen. Yes. Full time whistle, 2 1. So I've just got back in from the stadium, it's finished Sunderland 2, Plymouth 1. That is a vital three points in my opinion. It was a bit of a test, a lot of Sunderland supporters, including myself, they see it. We're seeing that a bigger test is going to be against Plymouth. The way we played against Oxford in the second half was decent. Um, Morgan 5-0. The bigger test was Plymouth. And I thought the lads from the first whistle to the last were outstanding. Diaco, who and come under a lot of criticism from Sunderland supporters by saying that he's, he's, he's not at our standards in League One and he's not that good and stuff like that. But in my opinion, you've got to give the lad time. He always needed time to adapt. He's coming to a new country, trying to understand a new style of play in a new league. And now I feel, especially today, he was outstanding. He, he tortured the fullback. I think his name was Broome. He absolutely tortured him. So much so that they changed it up in, the, I think it was the second half. And for me, this lad, all he needs is time. And the more time he gets, I th he, bear in mind, he's still only young. The more time he gets and the better he's going to become. And he could be a, a very crucial player for us and come the back end of the season. So Broadhead, what can I say about this lad? The way he took his goal a day, my god, he looks levels above League One. He sort of battled it past the keeper. It was, it was outstanding. He's had another absolute amazing goal and he was my man of the match today. Listen, I hope Dreyfus can just gun out there and sign this lad. I know it is a release clause on him and Everton, the way Everton are playing at the minute. Might want to recall him and, and, and try and use him in the Premier League because he's the way he's playing it's out it's outstanding. Yes he's young, yes he's learning his trade and this is the perfect place for him. Get experience, minutes on the pitch and obviously a couple of goals. We'll only see him good in his in his development. But for me I would absolutely love it if we could sign this boy on a permanent basis because I really do believe he could dig a job in the championship. Another thing um Gooch went off injured in the first half. I, I, I hope to God it's nothing serious because the way Gooch has been performing for Sunderland against Morecambe and today, he's, he's been really improved. And, and I just hope it's not another injury to another fullback because we just couldn't afford that. And I we're going into January, but if we can steer there and thereabouts going into January, it's only going to see us do good for the rest of the season. But if we're picking up more knocks and more injuries, it's just going to disturb our, our, our momentum, in my opinion. And then quickly, Lee Johnson, he's overcome some stick in the recent weeks, some pressure from fans. And now, with performances in mind, the, the, all the stadium was singing for Lee Johnson today and in the last game, but more so today, because fans realised that this was a harder team to come up against than Morton. And it was going to warrant a much better performance all over the park. I thought Bailey Wright was outstanding again today. Like I say, the referee, we weren't playing 11 Plymouth players today. We were playing 11 Plymouth players and a referee who was wearing a green shirt, a Plymouth shirt. 
may I say, because he got a lot wrong. There was a penalty shout he missed, about four or five blatant free kicks just outside the box. What he refused to give, he was diabolical. So much so, Lee Johnson got a yellow card because of the way he was complaining about this referee and it was diabolical. Listen, like I say, these points are crucial simply because we've got Ipswich, then we've got obviously Arsenal away, then we've got uh, Doncaster away, and then we've got, I think it's um, uh, Chef Wed at home, which is a monstrous game. It's an absolute monstrous game. But, you know, we've got to keep doing what we're doing. We keep, we keep picking up the points. As long as we keep playing the way we're playing, from Oxford, I feel, in the second half, and then the Morecambe and today, the tempo, the press, the energy around the park. If we keep this up, it's, it's only going to benefit the, the players and the manager and the fans as well. I think the 12th man, we were there today. This is probably the team didn't really need us, but nonetheless, the fans were there today, which in recent games, it's been flat at the stadium, even against Morton. But no, today we were really good, the fans. And I just hope this continues and um, we, we can take this confidence, this momentum into Ipswich away, which is going to be another crucial game. I'll be doing a live stream for that game. And like I say, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. It'll be much appreciated. And I'll see you in the live stream for Ipswich.